What's up, guys? What's going on? Bearded Bricks. Back with another review. This time, The Imperial. TIE Fighter. Imperial. TIE Fighter. Imperial. TIE Fighter. Is it the Imperial TIE Fighter? It is. Yeah. You know, that's why we're a team. You're Imperial TIE Fighter. Can't just say Imperial. Then you gotta say TIE Fighter. I did. <laughs> uh, this is set number 75211. As you can see from our other review, you can do this and the wings don't fall off. Yeah, this one's a lot sturdier. Don't touch it. <laughs> I'll stay away. Um, single cockpit design. You can actually open this one all the way up. And it's you can a, fit one minifig in. It's another one that comes with multiple minifigs, but you can only fit one. But it only has one pilot. That's true. Uh, so that's that's the accuracy. I guess. The other three are just ground troopers. No, they're not. <laughs> One of the cool things about this set is it also does come with the stud, the not the stud shooters, but the projectile launchers. They are at the bottom. When you're playing with it, you just hit them in the back and they shoot out. There's room. There's no kind of trigger for it or anything else like some of the other ones. There's printed pieces on this. I don't think there's any stickers. There's no stickers in this set. Everything's printed. So this one is priced just like, I guess all TIE Fighters are $70 a piece. And only 519 pieces. It's the same price point as the newer one uh, at 13 and a half cents when it was brand new. Um, With this one though, the quality of the minifigures are up there to which make up the price difference between this and the other one. I agree. Those minifigs are pretty cool. Um, this is from uh, Solo. A Star Wars story. This is not episode four, five, and six. So there are four exclusive minifigures. Everyone in the set. All is exclusive. minifigures in this set are exclusive, which is pretty cool. So that kind of may lead into that price point a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. What I don't understand though, a lot of the times, is if a set is so expensive. And it comes with exclusive minifigures. I think that they should beef up the set just a little. Yeah, but then you got to pay even more. They can make it work. They could. Star Wars licensing is just expensive. That's true. And Lego's in it for money. <laughs> Call it what it is. Um, I really like how these are attached. The wings yes. are attached better than the Imperial one. The only that one thing, just pops apart too easy. The only downfall is on the Imperial one, where the wings snap in. Mm -hmm. If they break, it makes them much harder to get apart. Versus the First Order, if they break, you just snap them back in. Yeah. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. I do like how they did on the Solo one, where they continued with the wing design. I don't like the smaller TIE Fighters. I like the big ones like this. I like the wings to be... Very large. Large and in charge? Large and in charge. But like we said, this set does come with floor exclusive minifigures. The first minifigure we're going to talk about is Tobias Beckett. He is really detailed. He has a cool front end leg print. His head is only on the front. And it does have the cool insignia. They didn't make it as big as they did on the First Order ones. This is Imperial though, it does look pretty neat. Next is Han Solo in his Mud Trooper outfit. This has got to be my favorite minifigure in the set. He looks really cool, he's got the goggles up. The goggle and the headpiece are a new design for this set. The back is also very detailed on the cape. It does have a back printing along with double sided heads. Up is a Mimban Mud Trooper. He does have a cool camouflage look to him, like mud's all over the place. He does have the same detailed cape that Han Solo has, and he does have the same detailed back. This one is only front printed on the head, but is a very cool minifigure. Next is the TIE Fighter Pilot. There's just a lot of upgrades done to his torso and helmet. He is single headed also. He does have back printing 
and the insignia on the front of his helmet for the Imperial. Overall, I mean, it's a okay set for $70. Um, the still, minifigs are really what would sell me on it. I still think the price point of them are kind of expensive. They are. I Vader agree. needs to lower his prices. You know, that's he got to pay for that Death Star somehow. <laughs> He's paid for it twice and it keeps blowing up. <laughs> he needs to stop. <laughs> you know, got to get that money back. <laughs> One of the things that I don't like about this set also is it doesn't have a rear cockpit. I think that even in the movies they didn't. They didn't. So why would you put one in it? I don't know. I just after seeing that other one, it that it's a whole different design. So you can't you you can't this that is thirty forty years in front of this after this whatever whichever <laughs> way you're looking at it that is thirty years advanced over this. It took them thirty years to put a second cockpit in. You know sacrifice two instead of one uh, you know that's <laughs> thanks for watching another review like, like and, sub and subscribe like and subscribe come back and see us